Okay, we're also, okay. I'm gonna record, but I'm not recording you. You can't see yet, right? I can see this, I can see the screen. There, can you see my smart notebook now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so these are, and, and I can't see your faces or whatever. It's just the two of you that are on at the moment. These are what the answer should be for all those problems, okay? And you, you always want to use, anytime you have symmetry, you want to use your symmetry, okay? So on uh, 4A, you really don't even have to do any math whatsoever. So for A, we have a line of symmetry down the middle, and then we have a line of symmetry that's horizontal, going right down the middle of both of that. So that's why 4A would be um, two and a half, three. Again, if, if this point here, we have to have an origin somewhere. So what we're, what we're asked to do on these is just make that bottom left corner of the origin, okay? So um, when you have, um, when you have, no, you know, when you don't have symmetry, then you have to do that whole crazy formula thing where you look at what's the area of those shapes and, and so on. So um, on uh, 4B, we have this line of symmetry, right? We have a horizontal line of symmetry. So therefore, this being, you know, 0, 0 on 4B, um, we would have to have um, the vertical value, the y coordinate of the centroid would have to be three, right in the middle. Okay. Um, now, in order to get the x coordinate for the line of symmetry, I would probably cut this into two shapes and do subtraction. So I have one rectangle. So I'm going to call my overall rectangle area one, and I'm going to call the other rectangle area two. Okay, so for area one, and let's see here. For area one, my area would be what, five times six, right? That's 30. Okay, and the centroid value for the centroid values, um, for, for that, what x would be in the middle of 5, so what that would be 5, and that would be what 3 for the y. I wrote x by accident. Okay, because so it's going to be right in the middle of that overall rectangle. Are you with me? Yeah. Anybody out there? Now we start looking at area two. Well, all those members are 1.25 inches in height. So when we look at area two, we're looking at this shape here. So let's see, um, five minus one and a quarter, that would be what, 3.25 inches? Or 3.75, sorry. 3.75 inches. 
And the height of that would be what? Be six minus two and a half. So the height is three and a half. That makes sense. So then, area two would be 3.75 times three and a half. I gotta find out what that is. And that's gonna be a negative number because we're doing this by subtraction. It's easier to do that way. So if I do that, I get 13.125. Okay, and where is the centroid of this shape going to be? It's going to be in the middle. So the x value for number 2 would be what, half of 3.75. So then we do 3.75 divided by 2, 1.875. Now, the y value for number 2 would be following the formula we would take three and a half divided by two, but it shifted from the origin up 1.25 inches because all of these members, all of these structures are an inch and a quarter in, in size, all these channels. So then we'd have to add the one and a quarter to that. So three and a half divided by 2 plus 1.25 and that gives me of course we already knew the y it had to be had to be 3 of course see how that makes sense of course we already kind of knew that that y value has to be 3 so really I found it um, and we're, we're just showing that hey the formula is working but we knew by symmetry that it had to be 3 so then, what do you get for, to get the centroid value? For the centroid value, now we have to take the sum of, uh, we have to take the sum of every x times the area. I'm not sure which way they write it. divided by the sum of the areas. Okay? So that's the formula as it's as it's written. Right? Isn't that right? Yes? Did I write? I'm, I'm just going to look at the formula sheet and make sure I'm writing it the same way. Yes? So that's a, every x times area divided by the sum of the areas. Okay, so then we just have to go and plug in some numbers. So my first area, that would be 5 times 30 plus or minus, because it's a negative, because we're doing area by subtraction, or centroid by subtraction on this one. So I would have 5 times 30 times the other x is 1.875 times 
let's see, what is that? 13.125. And then on the bottom, we're going to add up the areas. 30 minus 13.125, because that area is negative. So 5 times 30 minus 1.875 times 13.125, that's 125.39, and 30 minus 13.125 is 16.875. Wait a second, you guys let me make a mistake here. Huh. X1 isn't 5, guys. It's 5 divided by 2, which is 2.5. I knew something wasn't working out. So let's try that calculation again. Sorry about that. I guess I need to get my full cup of coffee in too. Two and a half times 30 minus 1.875 times 13.125, and that's 50.39. So then 15.39 divided by 16.875, and now we get 2.986, which would be 2.99. How are we doing? Does that help a little? Do you want me to do another one or you wanna you wanna try one on your own? We can just hang out in silence. What do you want to do? I can't hear you. Addy, Sean. Can we do one like on our own and then? Think? You want to try? Yeah, you know what the answers are. You want to try one on your own, and if you get it, if you get it wrong, we'll we'll go back and go over it. Okay. You want to try that? Yeah. So I'm going to pause the recording, maybe. Okay. So let's look at. Uh, Let's look at the T, T shape here. So if you're still getting incorrect answers, let's see if we can figure out where we're making a mistake. Well, our full height, at the, you should get the correct value for the X. Because our full width, we are still 5 inches. And the full height is six inches. Well, it doesn't say inches necessarily, but okay. And this one would be easier to do by addition and break that into two rectangles. So since it's five inches, since we have that symmetry, the x value we sh we know should be two and a half. Okay. And, and that's just working smarter instead of trying to do all the math. So if we find these areas, if 
you've got area one, area two. So area one would just be length times width, so that would be your base times height. We have one and a quarter, and it should be six minus 1.25 would be the height. So the height of this would be 4.75. So that gives us an area of uh, 1.25 times 4.75, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 5.9, 
times 5.9375 and add 5.375 plus 6.25, or times 6.25, I mean. So for the top, I can't shift my thing while my uh, sharing things are hiding my extend page button at the moment. So right on the top, I'm getting 47.7. And then on the bottom, 5.9375 plus 6.25. I get 12.1875. And I'm not going to get excited about significant figures and rounding. Divide that out 12.1875, and I get 3.91. So where do we make our mistake? Um, I didn't add the 4.75 to the Y. Oh, on your, so you're following the formula straight forwards, but you have to, you weren't paying attention to the shift from the origin. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got to pay attention to the shift from the origin. So that that's one little mistake. So that's a 10 point question, Addy. You got you know, eight out of 10, you, you did everything right. Now, of course, unfortunately, if it's a multiple choice, <laughs> you know, on the end of course exam, if it's wrong, then it's wrong. You know, that would be, but you, oops, there goes first period bell already. Um, so what you got to make sure, you know, when you look at your answer at the end, does it make sense? Okay, that's another thing. Um, sometimes in a multiple choice question, you can pick the answer without doing any math. You know, what, what do we know? The, the centroid is the center of gravity, and this thing is top-heavy. has to be top-heavy. Look how high up that is. So if, if you got a centroid value that, that's lower, which you would have for the Y, you know that's going to be incorrect. It, it, it's got to be above the middle. Okay, it has to be higher than 3. We don't know exactly where that centroid is without doing the math. Okay, so the other one, that L shape, um, see if you can get that one yet. Um, Sean, you said you got it. Um, we, we can do it by addition or subtraction. You can do that one either way. Depends which way you want to, which way you want to cut it up. Because that, that would be just as simple to do either way. Okay, and you don't have as much shifting to do on that one. You do, you do have to shift something. And that one could be done three ways. Because you could, you know, you could draw a line there to divide it. Okay, and it doesn't really matter. You could draw a line there to divide it and do addition. Or you could do subtraction like we did the, the first shape. So that one, there's three different ways you could work that out to solve it. Okay, and we could have done that too with, you could do subtraction with the T, but then you have more shapes, it's more work to solve. You always wanna pick the most efficient way to do it. Okay, you wanna try that last one yet? You have another, another office hours to go to or you wanna stay on a few more minutes, that's up to you. Um, Mr. Conrad, yeah. um, since I got the L1, um, I think I'm going to go. Okay. Go on I do have one more question before. I yes. Um, the two conclusion questions at the end, do you also want us to do those? Of course. I don't even remember what they are. What are the conclusions? Oh, they're not in my file. They're not in my smart notebook unless they're somewhere. Oh, I'd have to go back to the classroom. 
are, are they, I think they're just thinking about what's the applications of centroids, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Oh, you think knowing that where the centroid is on a crane is important? Hmm. For a crane operator? And in construction, we usually use I-beams. Um, this is actually looking for what what's a an, an I beam? Why why would you might want to use an I beam as opposed to a solid rectangular beam? And now we're talking about the forces. This is like a, a, a just to get you thinking about. You know, you have an I beam like four A. Why might you want to use an I-beam? That doesn't have anything to do with the centroid, really, as opposed to just a solid rectangle. What do you think? It gives them a more center of, why not it be like something, like where it gives them more balance to build on? Not necessarily more balance. Um, think about your bridge and think about, you know, if you have, I don't know if you can see my camera or not. Yeah, now you can. There we go. But think about flexing, okay, as opposed to if I turn my ruler the other way, can I bend it? So it gives them more stability. An I beam has a lot, has very similar strength to a rectangular beam, but a lot less weight. Okay, so a lot of times you'll see most of you have a steel, it depends on the age of your house and how big your house is. I, I, I guarantee you look in your basement and it might be hidden if your basement is finished, but you probably have a structural steel I-beam going down the middle of your house. How many of you have that? You have that or you don't know? Addy, you do? Mm -hmm. Sean? Have, yeah. You don't know. My, my current house does. My first house didn't have an I-beam, but it had a brick wall in the middle of the house instead of an I-beam. So that was supporting the the trusses, the, the floor trusses. Um, okay. So a lot of times you'll see that I beam. the The advantage of a rectangular beam, it's just easier construction. That's the advantage. Okay. So that helps you with the two conclusions, but they're not. You know, that, that's kind of what we're getting into. Our next, um, I quit moving and my lights go off. Our next uh, section, we're going to be looking at, hopefully we're going to be back in school. We're going to be looking at beam deflection, um, modulus of elasticity, beam deflection. Um, hopefully we'll be back in school and we can do this lab. You can actually get your weight by measuring how much you make a beam flex. So that's what our next lab is gonna be. And hopefully we can do that in person instead of doing it remotely. Uh, we'll, we'll introduce and get started on Friday and get through the first part of it. And then when we come in, hopefully we'll be here next week. Okay. All right, guys.
Well, I've got another meeting to get ready for here in about five minutes. So I'm going to let you go and we'll see you Friday. Addy, see if you can get that last one figured out. Okay. Awesome. Have a good day.